What's going on guys? Yesterday I was so freaking pissed. I would have said the F word, but I decided to go a little bit nicer route. I was so pissed, you know, extremely pissed at the max. I was about to throw my controller and freaking probably break it with the how hard I was going to throw it. But I decided to stay composed. I decided to relax because I wasn't having it. Yesterday was probably the most stressful day of Call of Duty I've ever had in the longest. I mean, it was literally pathetic. And I have frame rate lag. Like, what is this bullshit? This game is so ass. Frame rate lag every time I get on, man. Fuck. Fucking A, man. So back to the story. The frame rate lag is gone now. Thank the Lord. So yesterday was the worst day ever. I was getting no scopes. I, I was getting no scopes like that. But yesterday was the worst day ever. I mean, holy shit. I, I probably never had a worst day of Call of Duty ever like that. So a lot of you guys know, some of you watched, some of you didn't. We had a league match yesterday. We were playing, who did we play? We played TK. And we lost 3-2. Last map, 5-5. You know, went down to 5-5. Uh, went down to a 3v2. It, it went down to 1v1, but obviously, Nameless was already good. Position, he killed me, and they won the map. Loads of bullshit. Now some of you guys are wondering, why am I so pissed? Well, a huge reason why I'm pissed is because we practically forfeited the first two maps. So, this is what happened. The so first map, we had to play 3v4. You know, it was it was already going downhill from there. On top of that, Cheeto was lagging out the sky pod because he has two lines apparently to his connection. They were hitting him off on the second line, which is his computer. So therefore, he was getting hit off the sky pod every minute on top of us playing 3v4. So, on top of Chino not being able to communicate sometimes during the map, TCM was getting hit off. So we had to play the first map fucking 3v4. And no, apparently we're not able to end it. We're not able to replay, even though it was tied. We're up by like 10 points when TCM got hit off. No, there's some bullshit rule that MOG is making. And all this pathetic, it's, it's just so pathetic. Like, if you're gonna make the league 22 matches, you gotta keep it as fair and professional as possible. I don't give a shit. If, if the other team is angry because, you know, you can choose to replay. Like, it's obviously something we had no control of. You know, he got hit off. I understand to a certain point, you know, a team should probably have some response, some control over, like, whether, you know, they get to choose to replay or stuff like that. But I feel like a huge judge on that should be MLG, should be the refs. You know, if they see his team get hit off, if we're up at, like, 10, 20 points, you know, we should, we should be able to replay. Like, there shouldn't be no bullshit rule that says, oh, you can't replay or... The other team has to decide if you can be, or the other team has to decide if you can replay. Like, it's just a load of bullshit. Like, where's the fair in that? Why are you going to make us lose first match 3 4? Like, you got to be as fair as possible in this league. It's it's literally a load of crap. So, apparently, MOG listed this rule, and they did in the Skype chat, and then TK were following that rule, you know, they can't replay or some shit like that. And they were like, oh, we would have replayed if we if we knew we could have. Which I think it's a lot of bullshit because their record is like 1 in 4, it was as bad as ours, and they need every win. So even if they had the choice, they probably wouldn't have replayed it either way. So, like, with that being said, there needs to be some sort of fair in the, in the system. Like, they shouldn't have the whole, like, all the power to say whether we replay or not. Like, it's just, that's just not professional. You're, you're, le you're letting a player choose, you know, something we, we don't control. A player gets it off, and the players... The game automatically like disconnects because of online or AW, some some sort of problem online. Which happened to Weeps actually, our league match versus ISO the other day. You know, his his game dropped in S and D. It was gonna go 5-5, five, five, uh, second map. And his game dropped and ISO just takes the round. And they auto and they automatically win. You know, they win the map. So like with something we have no control over, how is that fair? So, sorry for the rant, but to continue because I I think it's it's really unfair. Uh, so a lot of you guys know, you know, we played 3 4 the first map. It, it didn't go too great. You know, we're all really pissed. Whatever happened, TCM got hit off. Nothing we can do. It went down to the SD. We're playing really good. I think 4 4, Chino started liking out the Skype call. Uh, we ended up choking a 1v2 4 4. So they went up 4 5. And then out of nowhere, TCM lagged out at the beginning of the round. At the beginning of the round, before, like, as the round is starting, he, he lags out. Well, not lags out. He gets hit off. And, you know, they didn't end it. So, on top of having to lose a close match against ISO the other day, you know, one point in search when we got forfeited that map, one point in uplink, and we won the hard point. Would have been an easy 3-0. You know, we, we're, we're getting raped by TK, forfeiting first two maps with some bullshit. You know, with people lagging out, with them not ending the game because they can't. Like, what kind of rule is that? You can't... Who can't end a game? Like, they have this shit in S and D tourneys. You know, if someone likes down the beginning of the game, you can end it before anybody, as long as someone doesn't die, you can end the game. 
Oh, but no, MOG rules or whatever the case may be, or they thought they thought wrong, or I don't know, but it's, it's so stupid. And we still almost clutched that round 3v4. Like, I think it came down to 1v1, and we, we almost clutched that. We ended up winning the uplink in overtime. We won the hard point by like 150 points, like 100 point club them. And then went down to search. We choked a 5-3 lead. And, you know, we just choked really bad. We choked a 3v2, a 3v3, and then the last round we just played it like idiots. And, you know, it costed us. We we, we could have easily 4 0 them or 5 0 them. And, you know, due to so many problems that we have no control over, we get we get uh, in the ass. And it's, it's just so pathetic. I mean, like, what do you want us to do about something we can't control? Like, they need to fix the rules, and people need to stop being scumbags. But you know what? With a league with 22 matches, Nobody's not going to be a scumbag. Freaking ISOs forf forfeiting us matches. TK, like, you know, they probably, they wouldn't have replayed it. Like, I know it, man. 22 matches just put so much pressure on teams. And there's 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 probably a couple teams that would be like, yeah, we'll replay. But there's going to be teams that are like, nope, we're taking that win. Nope, we're taking that map. Nope, I'm um, sorry. Oh, you you lagged out last second. Oh, nope, sorry. That's our map. Nope, nope, nope. Out again. Nope, nope, nope. Nah! One in five in the league. I mean, I'm pretty. Uh, I'm a pretty optimistic person. Uh, one in five is. I've been. I've been through worse, you know, in the league. But it just. It's a really. It's a really bad record to start with. It's very devastating. I mean, one in five. Like, <laughs> with 22 matches, we only have 60 matches left, and a lot. And a lot of these matches are going to be against good teams. So, we literally have to turn up. I mean, I know this seems pretty good from what I've seen from playing TK ISO. Uh, we scrimmed a little bit yesterday. Like, we're a really good team. Like, we have... We're, we're not the worst of the worst team. Uh, people are probably going to be a little surprised by our, the way we play together and everything. But we definitely do need to work a little bit, you know, for a team that just got together. And I've never played with any of those players, so I don't really have chemistry with them. We definitely do need work. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty confident with this team going into our next matches. And I know we can come back. It's not going to be easy. It's definitely going to be really hard. we got to take it match by match. You know, round by round, we got to give it our all. We got to go as hard as possible. Just hope for the best. You know, nothing's easy in life, and I really want to make this comeback. One in five. I mean, we went four matches in a row. We're tied. So, guys, today we play Optic. <laughs> it's a big, big, big match because we want to get our wins against Optic because that's good for our record. Because I think, I believe we play every team twice. So, if we can win one of our matches again against Optic, that's huge for the future. You know, we only have one more match against them, and... It's just good to get. It's really good to beat these top teams like FaZe, Optic. It's really good to have those wins because then we'll make it easier for us in the future. But you know, we're gonna try our best. Uh, make the fact that it's online, I guess, makes it a little bit easier. They're definitely better on land, so it's gonna try our best and hopefully, you know, we win. Anyway, guys, had a pretty bad day yesterday. I was about to break my controller on stream, but I decided to keep my composure. I didn't want to go too crazy on stream and react really badly. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys had a great day yesterday and I hope you guys have a good day today. Really appreciate the support lately. And I, just, I hope things change. I hope things become better. People lagging out, people getting hit off, being dropped, all this shit. But, you know, I gotta stay optimistic. I know I have a lot of talent. I'm just gonna keep pushing it. I'm gonna keep going hard. I'm gonna keep practicing and hope for the best. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your boy Apti and I'm out. Ooh.